In the next few minutes, you'll discover how a former mob boss found a way to turn his life around, and why he believes everyone deserves a second chance, even those from the darkest corners of society. Meet Michael Franzis, once a powerful figure in the mafia world. He was a top boss in the Colombo crime family, one of New York's infamous five families. Franzese wasn't just any mobster. He was a rising star in the criminal underworld. Many compared him to Michael Corleone, the famous character from the Godfather movies. Like Corleone, Franzese was smart, smooth, and very good at what he did. He made millions for the mob and seemed untouchable. But Franzese's story didn't end there. His life was about to take a turn that no one saw coming. As Michael Franzese climbed the ranks of the Mafia, he found himself caught between two very different ways of thinking. On one side was the cunning world of mob life. On the other was a pull towards doing what's right. This split caused a battle in his mind that would shape his future. In the mob, Franzese had to be smart and tricky. He used ideas from Machiavelli. These ideas were all about getting and keeping power, no matter what. Franzese had to outsmart other mobsters, even his own boss. He always had to be on guard. One time, Franzese even tricked John Gotti, a famous mob boss. He wanted Gotti to buy him out of a business deal, but he knew Gotti wouldn't if he asked directly. So Franzese played a clever game. He told Gotti, I'm buying you out. Gotti, not wanting to seem weak, said, you don't buy me out, I buy you out. It worked just as planned. But there was another voice in Franzese's head. It spoke of wisdom and doing good. This voice came from the teachings of King Solomon. Solomon was known for being fair and just. He tried to understand people and help them. This was very different from the mob's way of doing things. Living as a mobster meant always being on edge. Franzese said, I never put a house in my name, no utilities. I never went to any nightclubs, bad place for me. I stopped creating patterns in my life. He had to be careful all the time. It was a hard way to live. Also, he learned to read people well. He used this skill to stay safe and get ahead in the mob. But it also made him think about how people act and why. This thinking led him to question the mob life even more. His father played a big role in this inner conflict. He looked up to his dad's power. But he also saw how his father was kind to family and friends. This mix of tough and gentle confused Franzese. It made him wonder if there was a better way to live. As time went on, he began to think more about doing what's right, like King Solomon taught. This change in thinking would lead Franzese down a new path. It would take him from being a mob boss to becoming someone completely different. But what made him want to leave? For years, Franzese had lived in two worlds. These worlds were pulling him apart. His father's long prison sentence was a wake-up call. Franzese said, I think my dad kind of threw me under the bus a little bit that night. It really hurt because I said, man, it kind of gave me a real moment because I said, you know, if this life can separate father and son, what do we really have here? This moment made Franzese think hard about his choices he began to see the dark side of mob life more clearly. Two years later, love entered his life as he met the woman who would become his wife. So now there was hope. But leaving the mob was not easy. It meant facing huge dangers. Franzese knew the risks all too well. He said, one of the horrors about that life, your best friend walks you into a room. You don't walk out again. To stay alive, Franzese had to be very careful. He moved far away from New York to California. He changed how he lived every day. He said, I stopped creating patterns in my life. I never went to the same restaurant every Tuesday night and never walked my dog every morning at seven o'clock. The fear of being killed was always there, but Franzese had a strong belief that kept him going. He felt that God had a different plan and a purpose for his life. This faith, along with his love for his new family, gave him strength. It helped him face the constant threat of death. He also made a smart choice that helped him survive. He never told on anyone in the mob. 
he didn't send anyone to jail. This made his enemies less angry and less likely to come after him. As time passed, he outlasted many of his old mob friends. Some went to jail, others were killed, but he was still free and alive. Looking back, it was love that changed everything. His story shows how powerful love can be. It can help someone leave even the darkest path. It can give them the courage to face death threats, and it can lead them to a completely new way of living. Michael Franzese's old life was over, but a new one was just starting. How does a former mob boss begin again? The answer was clear. He had to use his past to help others. And so he decided to become a speaker. He wanted to share his story. He hoped it would inspire people. He wanted to show that anyone can change, even a former mob boss. His past became his biggest tool. He used his mob experiences to teach lessons. He showed how the dark parts of life can lead to good. For example, he learned a lot about talking to people in the mob. He said, it's always great to let the other person talk. It really helped me in my negotiation skills in business. The new mission was to spread hope, and his own life was living proof of it. But Franzese didn't stop there. He started new projects. He made a show in Las Vegas. He worked on TV projects. He even started a true crime show called Mafia Democracy. This show looks at cases where the government did wrong. Michael wants to help people who were framed. Michael Franzese's new life wasn't just about leaving the mob, it was about finding a deeper meaning. He knows many people feel stuck, they think they can't change, and he wants to show them they are wrong. But how did he come to this view? It wasn't easy. His father had seemed to betray him. It was during a mob fight. This hurt Franzese deeply, but he made a choice. He decided to forgive his father. This choice changed everything. Franzese says, I almost thanked him for it now because that was God's way of separating me from this bond or this hold that my dad had on me. Forgiving his father freed him. Michael began to see his bad times in a new way. They were chances to learn and grow. He says many bad things were blessings in disguise. However, he still faces danger to this day. Some people from his old life might want to hurt him, but he keeps going. He lives openly. He shares his story widely. Michael's life is now about love, truth, and helping others. It's very different from his mob days, but he sees this change as proof, proof that anyone can turn their life around. Now he follows a code based on love and truth. This new way of thinking is very different from his old mob life. In the past, power and fear were key. The mob boss was the most important person. Loyalty to the family came first, no matter what. But he changed. He now says, there's a spiritual side, obviously. I'm a person of faith, and the bottom line for me is I believe God had a different plan and a purpose for my life. His message is clear. It's never too late to start over. He often says, I believe in redemption. If I can change, anyone can. It's never too late to turn your life around. Michael Franzese's life has been quite a ride. From mob boss to motivational speaker, his story is one of big changes. But what does his new life look like now? Today, Franzese spends his time helping others through his social media accounts. He speaks to groups about his past and how he turned things around. Whether you're a former mobster or just someone looking to improve, there's always a chance to make things right in this life. <laughs>